There are several ways you can add images to your templates with Album DS. Let's go over all the ways you can add images. First, I'm going to go ahead and open up a template. And it's open and ready to go. And now I'm going to go ahead and add an image the basic way of adding images and that would be just to make sure that you have your move tool selected also make sure auto select is active and show transform controls is active that's what allows you to click on different layers and have those layers selected in your layer palette to add an image the easiest way is simply to click where you want it to go and double click the photo you want to be inserted Now, when you're inserting images this way, Album DS is automatically going to fit whatever the shortest side is. In this case, it was the width. If I click on the image, you'll be able to see that it slightly extends down here towards the bottom. So that means I could actually move it up if I wanted to. In this case, I don't want to because I didn't want to cut his head off there. Other things I can do is I could scale this image by holding the shift key and dragging at any of these corners with the photo layer active and that's gonna scale within I can adjust the cropping of this box by instead of being on this layer if I went to the shape layer and notice that the photo points to the proper shape layer that's how I know I could click and drag and it'll crop my image and it'll snap out to the bottom where the photo ends another way to place an image would be to instead of double clicking you can come down to the picture menu and choose autofill template with the same image and what that would do is put the exact same picture in each of the different picture places. You wouldn't normally use that feature with a template such as this, but if you wanted to create your own picture packages, you can quickly design templates and have Album DS automatically populate like that for you. Another way you can get images in, I'm going to just delete these real quick is I can pick what images I want to automatically go into my template. Now Album DS when doing the autofills doesn't look at the canvas and what's on the left or the right but instead looks at the layer order here. So if you notice this is the top layer so this is going to be populated first, this is second, this is third, and this is fourth. So if you ever want something populated in a different order simply reposition the layers here by dragging them up or down but since this is from left to right the way I want it I'm gonna go ahead and select the images I want to be populated in this template so I'm gonna select this image first and I'm gonna hold my control key while I select the other three images Now that I have all four images selected, I can come to Pictures and choose Autofill Template with Selected Images. And going in the exact same order that I selected them in, Album DS is automatically filling this template for me. And it's done. So I can also 
use a feature like that page to page. And then the last way I'll show you that Album DS can add images is you can actually have Album DS resize an image as it places it. So this is where I want the image to go. And I'm going to right click over the image I want to place. And I'm going to choose Place Picture and Resize Shape. And what it's going to do is it's going to resize this to exactly fit the picture. So there's no cropping. And I've just done that and notice when I click on this image it doesn't extend outside the box. Let me actually grab another one that is of a different size so you can see that represented a little bit more clearly. So I just have this one image now. Let's go ahead and put in a horizontal image. So I'm going to right click place picture and resize shape. And now you can see that that has resized that shape to exactly fit the picture including the key line and everything. This concludes the different ways you can add images to Album DS.